Next sale is a big one up here on C1, this N64. It's Monday, April 12th, and I have 43 eBay orders to ship out. It was a really busy weekend, and some of them are already starting to fall down. These clubs that I pulled from my storage unit, these are Ben Hogan clubs. I bought these on Friday from John as part of that big lot of stuff. They're Apex Forged. Uh, it's three through E wedge. The E stands for equalizer. These sold for $179.99 plus shipping. And Ben Hogan is a really good name to look out for. So keep an eye out for these when you're out at thrift stores or garage sales. Next is an Elvis t-shirt. Had this cool like all over print of like posted postage stamp. Really neat piece. Got this uh, in that eBay store buyout that sold for $49.99 free shipping. And last are some cards that I recently picked up. We've got a Carlos Ruiz print and play 101, Liam Hendricks uh, first Bowman autograph, and a Paul Molitor autograph and patch. All three of these are going out to viewer named Alex for $35 free shipping. And Alex, thanks so much for the support, man. I hope you like those cards. All right, sold some more cards. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this whole box because I know there's a number of them out here I sold. Let's see, I sold a Lucas Giolito autograph card. Um, yeah, here we go. That one sold for $13.99 free shipping. And by the way, most of these cards that I'm pulling were part of that um, card buy I made last week. Okay, next order has two cards. We've got this 2010 Mickey Mantle reprint, the uh, gold refractor. I think it just has a really cool look to it. And also a Lion Mountcastle autograph from Bowman's Best. Same buyer bought these two for $57.98 plus shipping, and that is going to Sam. Sam says, hey John, Sam from Eclectic Sam YouTube channel. Had to get these for my personal collection. As always, thanks for everything you do. Sam, thank you so much, and hope you like those cards. Okay, I also sold a Tom Brady card out of here. This guy right here. It's like this cool crown refractor. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. And then I sold a Julio Jones autograph patch card right here. Uh, that sold for $79.99 free shipping. And that's going on to your name, Garrett. Garrett, thank you so much for the business, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, also in here, I sold a Cody Bellinger. Let's see, 2017 rookie. I think it's this one right here, numbered 250. That sold for $29.99 free shipping. And the same buyer got a Russell Wilson baseball card. You heard that correct. Russell Wilson also played baseball. And... For some reason, I thought he was drafted by the Rangers, and this is showing the Rockies. Originally selected by the Orioles, okay. So, um, either way, this was his first Bowman card, and this one sold for $16.99 free shipping. Both of these cards are going out to Jorge. Didn't say he was a viewer, but I have a feeling he is. So, Jorge, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, one or two more cards we're pulling out of here. This Jose Bautista patch car is really cool it says uh, Toronto number to 25 that sold for $19.99 free shipping I also sold a Jason Witten autographed card right here for $49.99 free shipping so a Cal Ripken Jr. autographed card right here for $39.99 free shipping so a Trevor Story Chrome Rookie Auto refractor of $4.99 I believe it is this one yep and same buyer got a card over here in C4. Also, a Trevor Story. I put them in separate things because I don't want to mix them up because they're so similar. Uh, this one is not a refractor. These two sold for $209.98 free shipping. And last card we're pulling out of this box is a Don Mattingly Leaf autograph that sold for $24.99 free shipping. All right, next thing is on C2 right here. This is a vintage... What is it? Super Soaker uh, Supermax 1000. Let me remember these from my childhood. Really cool thing. Um, I got this as part of a bulk buy, so I've maybe got $10, $15 into it. That's sold for $49.99 plus shipping. I haven't showed you guys any packing for a while, so I will go ahead and show you how I'm going to pack this. I have two different kinds of bubble wrap. I have the small bubble and like the medium sized bubble, and I like using these anytime that I have like a breakable item. So this is what I'm going to use. And I recently got new bubble wrap. Uh, if you guys listen to our podcast, Guys Without Jobs, Lonnie told me he started getting this American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. So I thought I would give it a shot because it is cheaper than what I've been using. And the shipping's better. I ordered this on Sunday night and it got here Tuesday. So only two days it took. I think if you order before like 3 o'clock, they guarantee next day. Uh, but it's definitely cheaper. So if you guys... Need bubble wrap, I'll put a link down below for that. All right, so I'm putting bubble wrap all the way around this thing. 
All right, got it nice and protected. Now I just need to find a box for it. I like to get boxes from uh, dumpsters. One of my favorite one is Barnes and Noble. It's a bookstore. I don't know if you guys have those near you, but they throw out boxes all the time, and they're really good ones too. And anytime I find like you know odd, long, weird shaped boxes like this, I always grab them because I know eventually I'm going to need it for something like this. So let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good fit there's more space in there so I'm gonna go ahead and take some uh, paper fill and put it on the bottom then put this uh, super soaker on top of the fill and then put more paper fill on top of that all right it's good to go okay next thing is a hat over here in E41 you guys saw me buy that huge collection of hats from Danny of Pickle Resellers. This is a vintage Dallas Mavericks hat. I love that old logo with the cowboy hat. That's all for $19.99 plus shipping, and guess what? I have two of them, or had two of them, and the other one sold as well. Right here, same hat, sold for the same price for $19.99 plus shipping, and that one is going out to viewer named Dylan. Dylan, thank you for the support, it really means a lot. Next thing is a bobblehead on B2. It is a Babe Ruth bobblehead when he was with the Atlanta, I'm sorry, the Boston, geez, Atlanta Braves, with the Boston Braves. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping, going out to a viewer named Drew. Drew says, you know the deal, Sunshine Steak Picker on YouTube, but I need to move some product. Can you shout out my eBay store at RatDog44? I don't know how much it'll help, but I'm happy to shout out your store, Drew. Thanks so much for the support. Next thing is a harmonica down here in F51. It's got the carrying case, I think it's got like a little cleaner and everything. Pretty neat. That sold for $34.99 free shipping. Next thing's on E2. It is this guy right here. This is a pull eye, so basically it keeps an eye on kids, you know, so they don't drown. I don't think it's a camera or anything, but there's some kind of alarm with it. I got this at a garage sale about two weeks ago. I paid $3 for it, and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a big one. Up here on C1, this N64 with the Atomic Purple controller. I got this a part of that big $1,000 buy from Danny of Pickle Resellers, and this sold for $239.99 plus shipping. The box really helped the value on this. Um, if I had to ballpark it, I'd say the box added $75 to $100 of value. So if you guys ever find the boxes, even without the console, they do sell. Next is a hat in A51. Let's see, this guy right here. <laughs> How cool is this hat? That is not something you see every day. It is this big bass hat. And if you could see on the back here, that tail is starting to separate a little bit. So I made sure I showed that in the listing. There really weren't a lot of comps for this. I think I priced it at like $30. Uh, or best offer because of the damage. Somebody sent an offer of $25 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, we're going back to C1. I sold this Craftsman trim saw right here. This is part of a bulk buy, so I've maybe got five or $10 into it. This was complete with the box. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I sold a Hulk uh, Maestro action figure in C51. This guy right here. Part of that big Hulk toy buy I made. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next we're going to D41. It is a PS4 video game. Let's see. Right down here at the bottom. Cinco No Ronde. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. New in the plastic. That sold for $26.99 free shipping. Next thing is on E5. Kind of a weird one. This guy right here. This is a Mr. Burger 2 vintage from Sears. Just basically like a burger press. I think it's kind of similar to like a George Foreman grill. I got this three or four months ago at bulk buy. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Sold another hat back here in F31. I might have sold more than one of these. I know I sold this one. Um, No, maybe not. Maybe that was the only one for now. This is a vintage Dollywood trucker hat that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold some Simpsons trading cards down here in A51. Right here, there's a total of, I think, nine? Is it nine packs? Yeah, nine unopened packs. It was sold for $19.99 free shipping. Those cards are going out to viewers Jessica and Michelle. They say, I caramba, can't wait to open these. Big fans and fellow resellers in Tennessee. Jessica and Michelle, thanks so much for the support.
Okay, next thing is some arrows right here. This is a pack of six Easton arrows I got as part of that hunting buy. I keep saying I'm done with all that stuff, but I guess I forgot I had these. I'm pretty sure this is the last thing from that buy. Uh, those sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Next is on B2 right here. This is a Sony Blu-ray player. It has an HDMI cord and the charger, or the only AC cord, but no remote. That's sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing's over here in D2. As you can see, I got quite a few of these. These were part of that eBay store buyout. It is a Cub Cadet lawnmower blade set. That sold for $17.99 plus shipping. All right, we're shipping out some more cards. Let's move this out of the way. We've got a handful in the C4 box. First one is... Cody Bellinger, Gold Refractor, number 50. That sold for $39.99 free shipping. Next is a Frank Thomas autograph card. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. That's going out to your name, Carl. And the last one we're pulling out of here is a graded Beckett card. Ryan Yarborough, graded 10. That sold for $17.99 free shipping. And that's going out to your name, Brendan. Carl and Brendan, thank you guys both so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing is on B3, I have two of these actually. These are Coleman expandable distribution trees. So basically, you connect it to your propane tank and then you have like a lantern or something else. Pretty neat. Uh, that sold for $26.99 plus shipping. Sold a Harry Potter uh, Hermione Granger figure. Let's see, right down here. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Sold a cup over here in D41. This is a vintage Hulk cup, also part of that Hulk collection. That's sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next order has four Harry Potter figures. First is Hagrid on E4, right in here. He sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And then the next three, we've got Harry Potter Herbology, right here in C4. Then a Ron Weasley in E32. Let's see right here. Yep, yeah, there's Ron. Put him with Hagrid. Add Harry to the mix. And last one is back down at A5. It is another Hermione. Right there. Those three sold for $29.97 plus shipping. I'm just going to combine all four in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Your name Hayden bought all those. Hayden, thank you for the business. I hope you like those figures. Sold another hat down here in F52. It is this orange Coca-Cola hat. Pretty uncommon, actually. And that's all for $14.99 plus shipping. Going out to viewer named Jimmy. Jimmy, thank you so much for the support. I hope you like the hat. Sold two more Harry Potter figures. These things are selling really fast. Let's see. First is Hagrid. And next is the Herbology Harry. Right here. These are going to the same buyer for $19.98 plus shipping. Sold another hat over here, one of these D boxes. It actually says D2, which is an old inventory code, but I believe it is this one right here. This is new with the tags. I picked this up, gosh, probably like a year ago. That sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Your name's Zachary, got that hat. He says, thanks, Sean. I've been looking for a new golf hat and love your videos. Been a long time viewer, would love a couple stickers if possible, thanks. Zachary, thank you for the business. I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. All right, last thing going out today is an A8. It is the Ron Weasley Herbology figure. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And the buyer didn't say they're a viewer, but the username is Chai Town Flips. Uh, Chai meaning for Chicago. So if you're watching this, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. It's Tuesday morning. I have 10 eBay orders to ship out, but first I've got a couple of viewer questions I want to answer. First is from Chef2K. Hey John, viewer question, how do you ship out plates or glassware for pieces or better? Thanks, Gordon. Okay, so I don't like to ship out a ton of breakable stuff like that, um, especially, you know, multiple sets of glassware. I will do it if I think I can get like 50 bucks or more, you know, because it's going to take some time to pack that stuff. So with glassware, I put paper inside the glass and that kind of helps, you know, if there's any kind of impact, the paper can help absorb the impact. Then I wrap each glass in bubble wrap. Then I put put each glass in a box, like a small box, and then I put all those boxes in a bigger box. So it's a lot of work, it's time consuming, but that's the best chance of it arriving safely. I would do the same thing with uh, plates. Obviously you can't stuff 
paper inside plates, but I would just bubble wrap it, put them inside a box, and then put each of those boxes inside a bigger box. So I've shipped out glassware like that before and had pretty good luck doing it like that. Next question is from Elizabeth Nance. Hi John, I'm a new viewer, so you've probably answered this question a zillion times, but I thought I'd ask anyway. How do you make money when you offer free shipping, especially on items like those heavy clamps? I'm thinking it's probably because you do so many sales that you can afford to do this. Would you suggest this free shipping to new flippers? I know eBay wants everyone to do this, but again, I can't see much of a profit margin when shipping heavy things. Thanks for your answer. Okay, so what you're talking about specifically, um, those big clamps, um, that was a viewer sale. So they reached out via email and they were interested in them. And a lot of times with those kind of sales, just to make things easier, I just do free shipping because if somebody, you know, emails saying, hey, I want this or that, I can generally ballpark like what an average shipping price would be and I can kind of bake that into the price. So with those clamps, I think I sold them for like, 100 free shipping for the pair something like that and i knew that i was kind of wanting you know like a hundred a piece for them but then bundling together giving them a deal so instead of like emailing back and forth like okay what's your zip code let me box it up and get dimensions and a weight and everything and then i'll send you a quote it saves a lot of time to just do free shipping so i just kind of have a number in my head of what i think it'll cost i bake that into the price and then give them that as the price so that's what i do with that but generally speaking with ebay sales i only do free shipping if it's something um, that i know will go in like a padded flat rate so i know it's going to cost like eight bucks to ship or if it's like first class mail and i know it's going to cost in that three four five dollar range to ship so if I can have a pretty good like guesstimate of what I think it'll cost to ship, then I might do free shipping. But most of the time I don't because if it's going out to the West Coast, California, Washington, Oregon, any of that, it's going to be very, very expensive to ship stuff. So as far as being a newbie, I would say do calculated shipping with most things. Uh, as you learn more of like seeing what things cost to ship, you'll maybe, you know, venture into doing some free shipping. This is a question where there's really not a right answer, in my opinion. I know some people that do nothing but free shipping and they do fine with it, you know, because it averages out. And I know some people that never ever do free shipping and it's fine with them too. So try different things out, you know, learn as you go and you'll see what works for you. If you guys have a question for me, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it in a future video. All right, time to ship some orders. This is a Pendleton shirt I had in my storage unit. I went ahead and tore the bag because I wanted to make sure this was the right one. I had a couple of Pendleton shirts. This is one I got from that eBay store buyout, and it sold for $34.99 free shipping. And Pendleton is a good name to look out for. So if you see these flannel plaid wool shirts at sales, definitely pick them up. This order has three items going out. First is down here in A5 it is a Hermione Granger Harry Potter figure. Next is E4 right behind me. It is Hagrid. And they got a third one. Let's see, back here in F41. This one is Hermione. So it's the Herbology Hermione. Uh, all three of those go in the same buyer for $29.97 plus shipping. I'll just combine them all in the same box and refund them the difference of the shipping cost. Next thing's in C32. It is the Smallville um, DVD seasons. It's the second and third season. These were not worth listing individually so i decided to just do them together um i got these at a garage sale about two weeks ago for a dollar each the pair sold for 17.99 free shipping they will go media mail so they'll cost me about three or four dollars to ship sold another harry potter figure let's see this is just an individual one this is hagrid he uh, he sold for 9.99 plus shipping so a couple of video games let's see right here this is the same deal as the uh, DVD sets. So these two games were not worth listing individually, so I listed them as a pair. It's Outlaw Golf 2 and Outlaw Volleyball for Xbox. The pair sold for $14.99 free shipping. Next is a Stein in A8. Let's see, let me make sure I get the right one. It is Germany, I think it's this one, this little guy right here. Yeah, this is the one. It is made in Western Germany, really cool piece. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Viewer named Andrew got that Stein for his brother Adam as a birthday present. So Andrew, thanks for the support, and Adam, happy birthday, bud. Sold another set of those uh, lawnmower blades. These Cub Cadets, 42 inch, same as the other set that I just sold. These went for $17.99 plus shipping. I sold a few cards. First is in C4. 
This is something I listed just yesterday. Let's get some of these out of the way here. It is this one right here, Michelle Beadle, uh, Allen and Ginter autograph card. She is a uh, sports reporter. She was with ESPN. I don't know if she still is, but that sold for $29.99 free shipping. And then I sold two over here in A3. I sold a Corey Seager autograph card. No, that one sold too, so we'll pull that one. This one right here, that sold for $34.99 free shipping. And I do believe this Carlton Fisk card sold for $24.99 free shipping. And Danny from Pickboard Resellers got this Carlton Fisk card. Danny, man, thank you so much. It was good seeing you and Shannon the other day. Hope you like the card. It's Wednesday morning. I have 14 eBay orders to ship out. First few things I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. This right here is a Cat Lift Trucks hat that I got as part of that big bulk buy. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. The next we have a Daniel Cremeau or Cremeau. I'm really not sure how to pronounce that to be honest. It's a big and tall like Hawaiian style shirt that sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And then right here we have two shirts. There is a Phantom of the Opera and a Snoopy. And uh, I think I had these listed for like $60 free shipping, like total, like one was maybe 20, one was 40 and buyer reached out offering 40 free shipping for the pair. I countered with 50 free shipping and we settled on that. And that is going to answer viewer rare vintage deals. There wasn't a name attached to the order, it just said rare vintage deals. So guys, thanks for the support. Hope you like those shirts. Sold a handful of cards. I just went ahead and pulled both boxes to make things a little bit easier. First is an A3, it is... Mookie Betts, the first Bowman paper version. That sold for $29.99 free shipping, going to a viewer named Jorge. And he also bought a Corey Seeger autograph right here, numbered to $199. That sold for $34.99 free shipping. So both of those are going out to Jorge. Jorge, you bought a lot of cards for me, man. Thank you so much for the support. Sold a Chris Sale autograph. Let's see, should be right here in C4. I think that JG Watt cards sold too, actually. This is a uh, X Fractor rookie card. That sold for, well, if I can find it, that sold for $24.99 free shipping. And right behind that one is the Chris Sale. Let's see, this is a 2016 Topps High Tech autograph card that sold for $14.99 free shipping. And I sold another Topps High Tech, uh, Aaron Nola. Let's see here. Crowd, round the fingers. There he is, Aaron Nola for. Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, autograph card that sold for $24.99 free shipping. Okay, next is a couple more hats down in A51. Just go ahead and bring this box up here. It is this Mickey Mouse Fishing Club hat. And what's the other one? Vintage Joe Camel. I love this one. That color is just awesome. Smooth character. I don't know if you guys watch Tesla Picker. It's one of my favorite YouTube channels, but he just bought a ton of I mean, like, a whole trailer load of camel stuff. So, if you guys want camel stuff, go check out Tesla Picker. He's got a lot of it. The sold comp I'm showing, or, like, the sold listing is $29.98 plus shipping, but this is a viewer named Jeff that reached out, and he offered $25 plus shipping for the pair, and I accepted. Jeff, thank you so much for the support, man. Hope you like the hats. Next sale is right back here. This is a Disney Infinity, just a big lot of stuff. I didn't think any of this was worth listing individually, so I did one big lot and I auctioned it off thinking it would do pretty well, but I guess there's just not a demand for this stuff. I think this was like Disney's try the Skylanders craze that was going on a few years ago. I got all these little figures. There were 22 figures in here, um, this little play zone thing, and I started an auction at a dollar. It sold for $23.51 plus shipping. Next is a pair of Sperry Men's Shoes. It's an old inventory code that says D1, but I see them right back here. I've had these for quite some time. I got them as part of a bulk deal, I'd say maybe a year ago. So I've only got a couple dollars into them. They sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next thing is in C41. This is Faulty Towers Complete Collection on DVD. That sold for $17.99 free shipping. Sold a fax machine down here on E5. I'm not sure who's still using fax machines nowadays, but hey, I'm not gonna question it. This is a Brother Fax 575. I got this last weekend at the indoor flea market. I paid $10 for it and sold for $59.99 plus shipping. And last thing we're pulling is a hat down here in F52. It is a home improvement hat. If you guys remember that show, I watched that a ton as a kid. 
Caution, man with tool. That sold for $14.99, plus shipping, and it's going as a viewer named Mark. Mark says, that was an awesome hat buy you just made. I look forward to seeing more hats from it. I do construction work and will definitely be wearing this hat while I'm working. Mark, that is awesome, man. Thank you so much for the business. It's Thursday morning. I have 15 eBay orders to ship out. And as always, I went ahead and pulled a couple things from my storage unit just to make it easier. This right here is a Paul Cezanne shirt. I might be mispronouncing that. Uh, it's from the Philadelphia Museum of Art, part of that big eBay store buyout I made. That sold for $34.99 free shipping. And next is the Super Fisherman hat. You guys are going to be seeing me sell a lot of hats since I just bought that huge collection of them. This one right here sold for $24.99 plus shipping. We're pulling another hat right down here. It is this Dallas Cowboys Shark Tooth. If you see those like that design right there, that's they call that Shark Tooth and these have some pretty good value if this was in like really good condition it'd probably be worth 50 or 60 bucks but in the back here you can see that the seam is torn so i made sure i showed that and pointed it out in the description and i think i put it up for like 40 or best offer somebody offered me 25 dollars plus shipping and i accepted next thing was kind of a cool one it's in c31 i got a lot of these plush things from that ebay store buyout and i listed this one separately because it looked like it was selling pretty well it is heinz easy squirt uh, blasting green ketchup that's all for 19.99 free shipping next thing going on are some harry potter figures we've got hermione down in a5 right here only got a couple of those left same buyer got two more next one we're pulling is back in f41 it is another hermione but this one i think is the herbology one maybe and that is the last of that one that i have and the third one they got is hagrid right here in e4 looks like i've only got one of those left all three of these go to the same buyer for 29.97 plus shipping i'll just put them on the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost and if your name kathy got all those kathy thank you so much for the support i hope you like those figures okay next is in c1 uh right up here this is a lot of 14 like food advertising plush and different things i got this from daniel as part of the big ebay store buyout and guess what he bought it back for 24.99 plus shipping Daniel says, give me these back. Thank you. Daniel, thank you again for the great deal on everything you sold me. I'm happy to send these back to you. Next thing is a book. Um, it's an old inventory code that says D4. So it is probably in one of these boxes. I think I see it right here. Yeah, this is it. Sanctuary by William Faulkner. Uh, printed in 1931. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is an F32 right here. This is a bottle of Smarty Pants Men's Probiotics. Those sold for $18.99 free shipping. Your name Michael got those. He says, love the content and the podcast. Michael, thank you so much for the support, man. I really appreciate it. And if you guys don't know the podcast he's talking about, it's called Guys Without Jobs. I do it with Lonnie from the Shed Flips channel. I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. Next thing's in D41. It is two boxes of little baggies. These are little um, waste bags. If you're walking your dog and, you know, they go number two, pick it up. Each box has 360 bags. They didn't sell for a lot individually, so I decided to just lot them up. The pair sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a card in A3. It is David Peralta right here. This one is numbered one of five, so that definitely adds to the value. That sold for $29.99 free shipping. Sold a baseball glove in E42. This one right here, this is an old Spalding glove. It is the Nolan Ryan model. You can see the signature right there. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Your name Vince got that glove. Vince, thanks so much for the support. So a video game in D42. It is the Punisher for Xbox. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Sold another video game in E41. Right back here. Tomb Raider for PS1. That sold for $17.99 free shipping. Tomb Raider's going to ask a viewer named Richard who says he and his girlfriend watch the channel. So guys, thank you both so much for the support. It really means a lot. Next thing is in C1. I have quite a few of these. I got recently as part of a bulk buy. These are Flambeau 
tackle bags. That sold for $17.99, free shipping. Last thing I'm shipping out is in C42. It's a Cincinnati Bengals corduroy hat. I got this from the Mojo Casher crew maybe two months ago or so as part of a bulk deal. I had this listed for like $25 plus shipping and a viewer reached out offering $20 plus shipping and I accepted. Your name, Alex, got this hat. Alex, thank you for the support. I hope Joe Burrow gets healthy quick and they turn things around. It's Friday afternoon, I'm back from the garage sales and I've got 15 eBay orders to ship out. First couple things I pulled from my storage unit. This is a pair of Tommy Hilfiger denim jean shorts. Those sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Then we have a hubcap for a 66 Buick Skylark. I got a set of four of these at a garage sale maybe like three months ago. I paid $50 for the set and I decided to part them out. And this is the first one that sold. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Then we got a few viewer orders outside of eBay. Got three games going out to Michael for $75 free shipping. We've got this memo pad for the Cubs uh, going out to Debbie for $20 free shipping. Ren Stimpy VHS tapes. Uh, those are going out to Ryan for $15 free shipping. And this Grimace cookie jar is going out to Lisa for $40 free shipping. Debbie, Ryan, Lisa, and Michael, thank you guys all so much for the support. All right, next thing are a couple of cards. We got one going out in A3. It's this Jose Canseco autograph card. That's all for $14.99 free shipping. And the same buyer got another one. Let's see. Over in C4, it is another Jose Canseco, actually. This one has a little piece of bat. Yeah, this one. Autograph with a little bat patch that sold for $19.99 free shipping. Both going to the same buyer, and they didn't even know that they're a viewer, but Clinton, if you're watching this, man, thanks so much for the business. Sold a video game in D32. It is Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2 for Xbox 360. That sold for $39.99 free shipping. Sold another video game in F32. Need for Speed Underground for the GameCube. That sold for $11.99 free shipping. Sold a mug over here in A8. This is part of that big collection of mugs and eBay store buyout that I did about a month ago. This one's a little bit different. Cincinnati Police Homicide. <laughs> On the side it says Got Chalk. A little bit morbid. Uh, that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a pretty cool one. It is right here. These are highball. I think they're highball glasses. No, I'm sorry. They're double old fashioned glasses. And they have a Frank Lloyd Wright design. He's a famous architect. I just thought these were really neat. They were sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is up here in B2. It is these two right here. These are amino energy canisters. Let's see how many tablets. Actually, I think it's just like a powder in there. These really weren't listed individually, I didn't think. So I did the pair. And they sold for $29.99 free shipping. Next is up in A2. And I think I've already got it boxed. I'm pretty sure it's this piece right here. It is Linux. It is a cat and mouse with a pumpkin. Kind of a cool piece. That sold for $14.99. Blow shipping. Next is in C2. Skylanders Imaginators for Xbox 360. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And that Skylanders going out to viewer named Teresa. She says, I love watching your videos. My favorite ones are when you find something unique to sell that I would never have given a first glance at. When you show us how to pack items, it has helped me a lot in getting over my fears of shipping more fragile items. I plan on playing this game with my nephews who love Skylanders. Teresa, thank you so much for the business. I hope your nephews love that game. Okay, next we're going to B3. It's this case right here. This is something I got as part of a book buy last week from John. It is... See, the brand, I want to say, is like Premier or something. What's it called? Platinum. Platinum Roto Razor Saw. That sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Next is an action figure. Right here on C3. This is Dark Child, sculpted by Claybor Claiborne Moore. That's over $14.99 plus shipping. Sold another card over here in A3. It's a Tyler Glass now autograph. Right here, it says rookie card. And that's sold for $44.99 free shipping. Going out to your name, Chris. Chris, thank you so much for the support. I hope you like the card. Okay, last thing we're shipping out is right here. Uh, something I just listed, actually. This Beetlejuice cookie jar you guys saw me get last week. This sold for $200 free shipping. And it's going out to your name, Adam. Adam, thank you so much for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Before I end this video, I have some viewer mail that I want to open. The first thing is from... Thrift Norder from Missouri. 
We've got some Cincinnati Reds programs and media guides. Oh, that is cool. 1990 postseason media guide. This one they won the World Series. Oh, no way. I've never seen this. This is awesome. And then we got a 76 media guide when they won the World Series. And 91. We got something in here. The Reds items you can sell or keep too. They will go better in your booths than mine. Thanks for all your info, Bluegrass Picker. I sent you some Yadier Molina cards to burn. The berry you can sell. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Barry Larkin and Hideo Nomo patch card. That is awesome. Bluegrass Picker, thank you so much, man. It's really nice of you. Next is from Barter Mania. I recognize that name. John, bummed I missed this year's rally, but count me in for the next one. More bench ammo slash decor. Cheers, Travis at Barter Mania. And there is his sticker. Barter Mania, buy, sell, trade. Thank you, Travis. Next is from Sam in Pennsylvania. What's up, John? Thanks so much. I learned a ton from you. No YouTube, but eBay and Facebook is a reprise reselling. Here are my stickers if you like. Thanks again for that George Clinton record. It is super funky, Sam. And here is Sam's sticker. That is really cool. So I don't know if it's supposed to, I would assume it's supposed to go like this, the umbrella upside down. Yeah, so he's got an arrow. Umbrella upside down with the trees growing out of it. That is awesome, Sam. Thank you. Next is from Eric in Florida. John, I want to thank you for all the great videos and reselling info that you share with all of us. My wife and I watch each of your videos when they are uploaded. I've learned so much from you and the other resellers on YouTube. Due to your videos, we have opened up a couple of eBay stores and started my very own channel on YouTube. When you reached out to the other resellers for stickers, I knew I needed to take that next step. I would be honored to have my very first sticker placed on your work table. I would love to have your input on my channel, which is named Gator Flips. My eBay stores are also Gator Flips and Gator Flips 2. Thanks for all you do and keep up the good work, Eric Gator Loria. P.S. I would love to have one of your stickers if you were able to make that happen. Yeah, I see you put a uh, return envelope too, so I'll make sure I ship you one, Eric. Thanks so much. Oh, almost forgot. There is Eric's sticker that's going to go on the workbench. Next is from Mike Shad. This is my buddy Shad Juice, who also lives in Cincinnati. You guys have seen his channel. He also goes to garage sales and stuff. We run into each other all the time. Really good guy. Hey, John, thought I'd send some stickers. One for the workbench. Appreciate everything you do for the reselling community. Shad Juice. And here's a sticker. Let's get ready for some garage sales. Mike, thanks for sending these, man. Next is from Rusty Concept in Minnesota. Hey CP, wow, you're reading our letter. How cool. My girlfriend and I have been watching your channel and learning from you for the past couple of years now. It started as a hobby with a bunch of used Harley Davidson gear from a yard sale one day in September. And now we've grown to the point that we've actually hired our first employee to help with listings. That is awesome. We wanted to send you a couple of gifts and appreciation of all we've learned from you. Feel free to keep them or resell them if you'd like. If you could give us a shout out, our eBay store is Rusty Concept. We'd also appreciate a couple of stickers if you have any to spare. Thanks again for all you do, and maybe someday our reselling paths can cross in person. Let's get to work, Rusty and Marissa. Oh, this is so cool. So this is, I guess, an old program or maybe an advertisement for Cincinnati Reds. And there's Shotzi. He was the owner's dog and, you know, sort of the mascot in the 90s. And there's a sticker right there. So I'm going to put that on the workbench. And we got a card in here. Got Alex Blandino, Eric Davis, and Barry Larkin card. Nice little patch card there. Rusty Marissa, thanks for sending us stuff. Next is from Maria in Chillicothe, Ohio. John, I love your channel and your wife's channel. You have taught me so much about reselling. I have a small eBay store, Moss Hollow Farms. I also have a YouTube channel called Maria Crafty Ria Johnson. It's crafting related, not reselling, but I love it if you added my sticker to your workbench. Thanks for all you do. Hug the kiddos for me. Maria Crafty Ria. And there is her sticker. Thank you for sending it, Maria. I'll definitely put it on the workbench. Next is from Kevin in New York. All right, this says Rusty Dusty Picker. So we had Rusty Concepts. Now we got Rusty Dusty Picker. Let's pull this sticker off of here before I damage it. There's the sticker, Rusty Dusty Picker. Hey, John, I'm hitting you up out of the blue with a small handcrafted gift. We started a YouTube channel called Rusty Dusty Picker. As a very part-time picker, the channel focuses more on repurposing and reimagining inexpensive, discarded, and overlooked garage shell items. And we video the making of the projects. The making of the sign is currently on YouTube. Anyway, I figured that I'd send it to you along with the sticker for your bench. I hope that you and your wife enjoy it and have a great picking season. 
Thank you for sharing what you do on YouTube, and by all means, keep a close eye on Lonnie, too. All the best, Kevin, Rusty Dusty Picker. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, no way. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. <laughs> Kevin, this is awesome. Thank you so much, man. I love this. I'm going to put this on my wall. All right, last but certainly not least is from NC Picker from North Carolina. John, thank you for your awesome videos. Huge fan. Hoping my sticker can fit on your table, Dave. And there it is, NC Picker. Dave, I will definitely make space for it, man. Thank you for sending it. And he also sent a shirt. That's slick, Dave. NC Picker. <laughs> I like this slogan. It's hard to win if you sleep in. Isn't that the truth? Dave, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.